Shalom, Shalom, Kohalo Yahawa, Bashir Yahushai, Bashir Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. In peace and salutations unto the elect other nation of Israel and to speckle bearer Israelites that are scattered abroad that look like the heathen nations to y'all. Say Shalom. And Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that are out there listening and learning. And Shalom to all you brothers and all you occupants that's out there teaching the 100% truth, this gospel. Trying to wake up the elect. I also want to say this truth is for the Israelites only. Um, you so called blacks, so called Hispanics, Native Americans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Jamaicans, Haitians, and Guatemalans, the Panamanians. Y'all, the Israelites. Um, and as y'all can see on the screen, I have an article pulled up. Um, it says Fed economists say the central bank will have to cause serious pain to Americans and the economy if it sticks to its current path. Now, um, if you're in the know, you know, you're this truth, you know, you're watching, you know, you're you're on your P's and Q's, so to speak, you know, paying attention to current events, you know, you would know that the economy is about to collapse. You would know that the gut this this devil, you saw either, which is the, the wicked, the uh the people that you the people that you see on the screen that look like him, which are you so called white people, you know. Um they want to bring in a central bank digital currency. And do away with dollars. They don't want you using dollars anymore. Right? And there's a lot of, um, you know, um, uh, debt that America has. And and, and uh, what's been going on recently with the, the railments in Ohio, Nebraska, and Detroit, and North Carolina, you know, um, and these different... Disasters happening, and you got you got Biden over sending money to Ukraine, not helping people over there in these different places that these train derailments have. All this is done by design, you know. That this devil man, he's coming down with great wrath, you know. That the devil is not talking about you know a red man with a pitchfork poking you in a place called hell. That's talking about a, a nation of people. Yes, their whole nation, not just some of them, but their whole nation. Let's get Revelation twelve verse twelve. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, and woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that devil is Esau Edom, the biblical nationality of the so-called white race. They are the devil. They are deceivers. Right? You know? Um, they, they cause a lot of things on earth to happen and they tell you the opposite, you know, um, uh, or they'll, they'll tell you something that you want to hear instead of something that you need to hear so you can, you know, uh, be better off, you know, um, like this, you know, they can fix all this debt and stuff and all this, uh, the, the uh, this economy stuff with the money and the, it don't have to be like this. Es Esau could really fix it if he wanted to, but I mean, well, I ain't gonna say he he could because it's the Lord's controlling him, but you know, you know, you know what I mean. You know, um, a lot of stuff is done on purpose, you know. Uh but that's like I said, that's that's through your how about some hour shot, because this devil is not he's about to be taken out of power. And we're coming to the time to where everybody is seeing that, and they're gonna have pushback, man. You know, they're gonna have a lot of pushback, they're gonna have People that are going to be ready to take up arms against them. A lot of their own people, man. You know, a lot of these uh, average Joe six-packs with these guns out here. You know, the average white person, the average so-called white person, they have guns. They have ammunition. They have foods. They have these things stored up for when the economy collapses. You know? Because that pain is coming. And they're causing that pain to happen. With, with the events I just mentioned, there's these different derailments. You know, because you got to think when these different uh, events happen, when trains crash or, you know, all these different things just happen, that that has to have money. It takes money to fix those things and to get those things back up and running or to, uh, you know, to make it even better than it was, so to speak. You know, but that pain is going to be by them ushering in that MOTB, you know. That's what that pain is going to be. But I'm going to go to the book of Habakkuk real quick. Habakkuk, I think it's chapter 2. Um, right? Because this devil... Um, this devil has a lot of a lot of stuff to pay for. Um, here it goes. This is Habakkuk 
Chapter 2, verse 6, it says, Shall not all these take up a parable against them, and a taunting proverb against them, and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his, and how long to him that laid himself with thick clay, and that thick clay is his debt, right? These devils, this country has a debt clock, and that debt clock is going up every, it's literally, it don't stop, it goes up every second, every second, it's going up as I speak. I ain't going to go to, you can just type in, anybody can type in on Google right now, type in America's dead clock, you will literally see the numbers going up every second. It doesn't stop. Like, it's no, it's no pause button on it, it continuously, it continually goes up. You know, but this, this system that we have now with dollar bills and credit cards and debit cards and Apple Pay and all these different things that we got now, that's about to be over with in the, in the coming months, couple coming weeks, you know. Lord willing, you know, um, because these devils have a plan. That's why they say that they're going to have to cause serious pain. And they already doing that because they've been burning out these different food plants. You know, if, like I said, if you've been paying attention, if you've been on your watch, you will know that they've had, they've, they've had food plants burning up out of nowhere, so-called, which that's these devils doing that. You know, this is all a part of their great wrath, man. This is all a part of their um, coming down. In a form of persecution before they actually come down and persecute us, you know, physically to us, to our face. You know, they try to get everybody, man. You know, ain't nobody safe, you know. Um, let me get uh Matthews 24, man. You know, these devils are gonna cause they're causing a lot of stuff to happen so they can bring in their order, but the the Lord is gonna stop them, you know, because if they keep going. And the Lord doesn't stop them, then hey, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that scripture. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Right? Uh this is Matthews. Where is it at? Salakia. Matthews 24 um, and verse 21. It says, For then should be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of this of the world to this time, no ever shall be, and except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. For but for the elect's sakes, those days should be shortened. You know, that great tribulation is about to happen, man. You know, because, you know, we, we might have another year, a year and a half, maybe two, possibly. But as as the way time is going, that's, that's in, you know, in a couple weeks, you know. Because <laughs> time was flying by. Every, I, the pandemic was three years ago. They never thought like it was three month, three years ago when it first started. Like it was a couple of months ago, you know. But we could be in 2024 quick, you know. Half a, you know. This year gonna go by fast too, so you know, like I said, these devils are causing these different catastrophic events that's happening on the earth, and that's making the prices of food, resources, and everything go up. So they're they're doing this, you know. That's a part of economic pain, you know. They're they're causing the economy to go the way it's going, you know. Um, and a lot of you know a lot of these Edomite devils, man, they don't see a future, man. You know, I know that the workplace, you know, you got these Edomites talking. A lot of them know what's going on to a certain extent. I mean, they don't know, you know, everything, but they know something that's not right. And they, they believe their own government, their own people is trying to do something to them. So, like I said, they're going to have to cause a lot more things to happen in order to see here people to get people's backs against the wall. Because their people aren't going to just willingly take it. Not everybody, at least. Um, let me get Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 1. It says, Remember now that created in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You see? While the, the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds will turn out to the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves, that's you stock market holders, you, you rich men, and the grinders shall cease because they are few, and those that look out the windows should be darkened, you know? And the future doesn't look bright, man. It looks very grim and dim, you know. <laughs> I wasn't trying to run, but hey, you know, I did, you know. <laughs> um, you know, but hey, that's why we got to remember the Lord now before these times come. And these times are happening fast. Every day, there's been a derailment happening every, every other day the past week and a half. You know, like I said, the average person is seeing this and understanding this, so... You know, you Jakes, man, you better get on board, man. But we know it's only a party. You know, we know it's only about the elect, man. We know it's not about all Israel right now. So a lot of Jakes are going to be in for a rude awakening, man. 
you know, because their ultimate plan is to, like I said, is to see hit people to put that MOTB in you. That's that's what you know. That's why they're causing the serious pain. They're they're doing that now. They're not. They not. They ain't gonna have to. They're already doing it. You know. They said. They saying like it's it's a future thing. No, they are already doing it. They've been doing it. You know. Um. And if you pay attention, like I said, also you would know that these different countries are testing CBDCs right now, or getting ready to in, in March and April, like Japan, India. I think China's already done it. And I think America's supposed to be doing it in a couple of months. So how's the MOTB or the end five, ten years from now? It's not, you know, it's closer than ever. Right? Let's get um Romans 13 and 11. Right? It says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believed. For the night is far spent, and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. So, you know, we got to put off the works of darkness, man. We got to come out of the ways of this world, man. You know, we got to seek you, Habashim Yahushua, ten times more, especially if you're in this truth. You know, because you still got some Jake's waking up. You're going to have Jake's wake up at the last minute, man. You know, but we got to keep pushing, keep fighting, because we, we almost out of here, man. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, but... This is all the, you know, them causing serious pain. Hey, just look at the current events and, you know, how it's affecting everything. You know, that's what they're doing these things on purpose. These different events that they're talking about in the news, train the rumors and stuff. They, they're they the ones doing all this, man, so they can bring in that system. That's where everything is leading to, you know. And the, and the elders and apostles of Great Millstone was right through the spirit and the power. Yeah, how about Shmuel was shot, man? Yeah, I said it, man. If anybody from any other camp sees this, I said that, man, you know. Because I believe that. This is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. It says, And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark in the name of the beast and the number of his name. So that prophecy is about to be fulfilled, you know, sooner or later. You know, so I just wanted to bring this out, you know, um, warn the sheep, warn the flock of what, what is coming down the road, and it's very close, you know, um, the time of Jacob's trouble is upon us, and all the elect will make it up, man. You know, read Daniel 12 and 1. Read J J uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. You know, wisdom and knowledge shall be distributed at that time in the strength of salvation, and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. You know, so he ain't getting out of here, you know, if you ain't a part of the elect, first and foremost, man. And this knowledge, you know, we're stable, man. We know what's going to happen. I'm not surprised by these different derailments. We know it's all biblical. We know it's all um prophecy, you know. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to do this video real quick, like I said, and then warn, you know, the elect, man, because that's what it's about, you know, doing the work of Yahweh Shemir Yahweh feeding his sheep, you know, so I'm going to close out, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akakwadash, to honors to the elders and apostles of the great Muslim, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa Baba Shalom.